Hey guys and welcome back to my channel where I post about my journey through physio. Today I thought I would just talk through how I use Notion and why I switched from using OneNote in semester 1 to using Notion this semester and for the foreseeable future. So all throughout high school I did not have a good note taking system. I would kind of have notes everywhere randomly written down in notebooks however they were never sorted or organised. And even when I did bother to sort them out, I didn't even sort them out that well. Heading into uni this year, one of my goals was to study better and more effectively, and this meant developing a good note taking system. I already knew that handwriting notes was unfeasible as it didn't work for me throughout high school, so I turned to note taking apps such as OneNote and now Notion. So in semester 1, I used OneNote as I had always heard good things about it and knew it was popular with some of my friends in high school. However, as the semester went on, I discovered several flaws that made my experience with OneNote a bit unpleasant to use as my daily note taking app. Now I'm not saying OneNote is bad, in fact I believe it's a great app for quick notes and making annotations with its draw function, especially if you have a touchscreen laptop or an iPad that you use. And there's a lot of freedom given in OneNote with its endless page feature. However, it's this freedom and lack of structure that made my experience slightly unpleasant. As someone who might have 2-3 to three lectures a week for one subject, and someone who takes a lot of notes, I found that it was hard in OneNote to sort lectures and have some sort of structure. I could only sort my notes by subject, and then week by week, and then I'd have an endless scroll page. But I didn't have any way to sort the notes further, which made it hard to find information I was looking for later on when I came back to revise. Fast forward to the end of semester break, my friend recommended me to try Notion. So what is Notion? Notion is an app available on Windows, Mac, iOS and Android, which acts as an all-in-one workspace for notes, tasks and organisation of daily life. Since I was complaining about OneNote before, I'll start with how I organise my uni life with Notion. So unlike most of my friends in uni who have different units and electives each semester, in the physiotherapy course I'm doing, we have one big unit each semester with 24 credit points, consisting of different subjects with no electives. Semester 1 I had 6 subjects, and this semester I only have 4 subjects since we covered a year's worth of content for 2 subjects last semester. So I have made a page for each subject, and within these pages, I've broken it down into weeks. So for this week of physiotherapy theory, I can quickly see that I had two lectures, one on biomechanics of cervical thoracic spine, and the second on common pathologies of cervical thoracic region. If I click into the page, I further sorted them into three pages, one for each lecture, and then another page for revision questions. If I click into the lecture page, I have the lecture slides at the top and below it all the notes I took from the lecture. I've also added a content section up top. The ability to add the content section in a page solves the one major issue I had with OneNote, trying to find information when I'm revising. With the content section, I can easily navigate to the information that I need to revise without spending a lot of time searching for it like I would have done in OneNote. Just having this ability to create as many pages as I need and having the ability to add a content section is what I love about Notion. These two functions alone makes the revising process so much easier when I need to study for tests and exams. Moving on to revision, in each weekly page I have also created a revision question page where I can write revision questions which I use to revise content before tests and exams. Because of the Notion's toggle feature, this makes revision questions so easy to make. I can write a question down, followed by the answer, and the toggle can easily hide the answer. This toggle feature is also useful in notes when there's a list. I can hide the list and then it can act like a revision question and requires me to actively recall information when reading through my notes. In OneNote, the information would have just been shown immediately, which meant I probably would have skim read it and pretended that I need an answer, whereas having the toggle button, I have to try and see what I remember, and I'll find out what I don't know yet. Now this wouldn't be a fair review of Notion if I didn't mention some cons as well. Unlike OneNote, there's no annotating or draw function on Notion, however since I didn't use this function on OneNote anyways, 
this doesn't really bother me. The other not so great feature that some of my friends have found is that in Notion you can only move your images to certain spots on the page compared to OneNote where you can move the images freely anywhere on the page. So if not having these two things are deal breakers for you, then maybe Notion isn't for you, but for the majority of people, I believe that Notion works fantastic for them. Notion is not only a great note-taking and revision resource, it is also a great tool to organise my weekly schedule and any projects that I am currently working on. So here you can see my master task list that has all the tasks that I need to do and tasks that I have previously completed. And I can sort this into different views such as table view that you see here, a Kanban board view which some of you might recognise if you've ever seen or used Trello before, and then there's of course calendar view as well. Every weekend I'll come here and put in what classes I have for the next week. And so next Monday I have an anatomy lecture that I have to watch that's going to take me 4 hours so I schedule it into the master task list as so and I'll do this for all my classes that I have. Once that's completed, I can head over to this page called Weekly Planner and create a new page using a template that I've created. I name it the date of the week and because I've embedded the master task list into this template, all the classes that I just put in before shows up in this Weekly Planner. And throughout the week, this is where I will go to tick off classes and tasks that I have completed or add in new tasks that I need to do as well. At the end of each day, I'll also jot down a quick note about how I felt the day went under each column. So at the end of the week, I'll also do a weekly review where I reflect on the good things and the positives that happened and I'll also reflect on challenges and things that I need to work on in the future. Anyways, that's the end of my not so short spiel about why I switched from OneNote to Notion and how I'm currently using Notion. If you stay to the end, I commend you for having the patience to listen to me talk, but I hope you guys have learnt a little bit more about the capabilities of Notion, and maybe I have even convinced some of you to give Notion a shot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I know I've been away for a while now, but uni's been a bit hectic, and I have some new ideas coming up, so maybe expect some new videos soon-ish. Anyways, see you for now.